Let's talk now about some of the individuals and groups working to make California a more, more progressive state and make sure that its government is reflective of what it actually believes about politics. We're joined now by former two term mayor of Richmond, California and current chair of California Progressive Alliance, Gail McLaughlin, welcome to the show. Thank you, John, it's a pleasure to be here. It's great to have you here. So there's a lot I wanna talk about, but first I'd like to learn more about the organization, the California Progressive Alliance, tell me about it. Yeah, so the California Progressive Alliance is an independent statewide network of progressives who are coming together. We're individuals and we're other organizations. And the whole idea is to come together to reclaim our democracy. You know, a California and our whole our whole country is under the control of corporations. So uh, we want to promote the voice of the people and you know release the corporate grip on our democracy. And there's like four um, main parts of our mission. Um, first of all, we are standing for the um, the bold progressive issues that we know need to be passed. Um, we also support local progressive alliances in various parts of the state. We have many any of them. We think that's very important to get people involved in their own area. Um, we also support corporate free um, uh, candidates for elected office. And we wield our collective power to lobby our legislature. So we, you know, we have action teams, we have a Medicare for all action team, a single payer action team, um, that is rather. Uh, we have a Green New Deal action team, outreach action team. And so all these things work together to really elevate us. The whole idea is to connect us all together. And uh, we're doing a great job. And we have an upcoming convention on January 11th at UC Berkeley. So we want everybody to come to that. Okay, very exciting. And so some of the individual issue based actions that you mentioned are some of the most high profile policies being discussed, which which feels to me, I mean, I haven't been in politics forever, but it feels to me like it's slightly different that some of the biggest ideas being discussed are some of the most progressive ideas. And we also have some of the most high profile politicians are incredibly progressive politicians. So I'm curious, has that made it a little bit easier over the past few years to get volunteers um, to generate these alliances that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, first of all, um, we're a new, the California Progressive Alliance is pretty new. We had our founding convention um, in March of 2019 um, in San Luis Obispo. Um, it kind of morphed from, I ran a lieutenant governor campaign um, and uh, you know, I've been the mayor of Richmond. So that seemed like a, a good step to really make it an organizing campaign to encourage people with um, developing their own local progressive alliances like we have in Richmond. And so we have about 15 new progressive alliances. And yes, I think people are excited about the bold new ideas that, that are really uh, capturing the attention of, of the populace at large throughout our country. And uh, so we, we have uh, continued to promote these. After my lieutenant governor campaign, I didn't make it past the primary, but um, you know, we got so many bold activists excited that we turned my campaign into the California Progressive Alliance. And we held elections for a steering committee, um, et cetera. So um, we had a great base to start with and we're growing. And you know, um, one of the things that uh, we've really, really been able to, to highlight is um, is the fact that we're stronger when we when we unite with one another. We're stronger when we're in solidarity with one another, and people are you know get very excited about this. So we expect our next convention in January to have about seven seven hundred and fifty people. Um, we're having Lee Camp perform at the convention. We also have invited Ralph Nader and Angela Davis, and we're hoping they accept. They haven't been confirmed yet, but Lee Camp is confirmed. We have a LGBT Latina band from Oakland called Gala Band coming. We have a spoken word artist um, from Richmond, Dante Clark, uh, performing. The Sunrise Movement will be speaking and other oh, wow. activists. So we have a great convention planned ahead. So uh, if people are interested in finding out more about the convention, how they can possibly attend, where should they go for more information? 
So they should go to CaliforniaProgressivealliance.org and they could sign up for the convention. It's very affordable. And also um, we'll be sending out affordable motels and we have some motels that we're subsidizing some rooms and also all youth. Uh, under 25 get in free at the convention. So all they have to do is email info at California Progressive Alliance.org and I'll get them registered. Um, and you know, youth can also become members of the CPA for, for free. So we really want to promote the youth um, and it'll be very diverse. But check out the website, sign up. Um, you know, email info at, and uh, you know, you'll be all set to join us. And uh, California wants to really, you know, showcase that that we used to be in the forefront of so many issues. We still are to some extent, but we have lots of challenges. So we want to really, uh, really showcase what we can do and encourage other states to do the same. Awesome. Uh, well, I definitely encourage our audience to, to go look for more information and, and to attend the, the, the convention. Uh, Gail, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you, John. It's been a pleasure. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.